we already cut out all of our flashcards for our activity. So today we learned about ordering our integers and all of our rational numbers. So our activity is going to be doing just that. So each set of your flashcards has a different color. And on those colors, they all get a little bit harder as we go on. So your first one that you're going to get is your pink flashcards. So get your pink flashcards. Um, and then lay them all out on your desk so you can see every single number. In the <laughs> I know because I put them in little groups. And but you want us to lay them on our desk like this? Yep, so spread out all your pink ones so you can see every single number. Oops. Yeah, I'm just that stuff out of your way. You're right. I will. Right. Why, why is there leather on my desk? Alright, turn it off if you can see the numbers. I have an empty leather on my desk. Let's put your flashcards over there. Oh, okay, like this. Alright. So look at all of those numbers, and I want you to find the biggest number, so your positive number, and then hold it up in the air. This would be easy. Perfect. Okay, so our biggest number is 45. So that's going to go all the way on the right side of our number line. So put it on the right side of your desk. Like this? Yep, all the way on the right side. There we go. Now look at your numbers and find the smallest number. So it should be a negative number, and then hold it up in the air. Do they all have the same numbers? Yep, they're all the same numbers. Okay, so our smallest is negative 40. So where does that go on our desk? All the way on the left side. Okay, now look at those numbers again. Is there anything that could be like a middle marker for your number line? Zero. There we go. So put zero in the middle. It was hard to, but I organized it all. Good job. Okay, so all the way on the right. Or on the left, we should have our negative 40. All the way on the right, we should have our 45. And the right in the middle, we should have our zero. So now look at all the numbers and try to order them from least to greatest. I already did. Well, look at you, Speedy. But they're on these, and I have them dark. Okay, never mind. They're even. Our negative numbers. So zero is our middle marker, right? So we should have that in the middle. And our biggest is 45. So zero, there you go. Perfect. Okay, so our order should be negative 40, negative 32, negative 19, negative 8, 0, 3, 17, and 45. I think that's what everybody had. Good. Okay, put all those back in a pile. And we're going to move on to our blue flashcards. Once you put those pink ones away, lay your blue ones all out on your desk again. So our pink flashcards, those are our positive and negative numbers. What are our blue flashcards? What's different about them? They're decimals. Um. Technically, decimals can also be fractions, like negative one seven. Okay. Once you have all those blue laid out, I want you to find your biggest number. So it should be a positive number, and then hold it up. All right. So we've got a four, a four, and a four. Let's look at those numbers again. So we've got, what are all of our positive numbers? John, can you tell me all of our positive numbers? 4, 8.4, 2.6, and 0. Okay. So what do you got? Yep. 0 is not a negative or a positive number. You're right, it's not. Okay. So our positive numbers we have are 2.6, 8.4, and 4. So out of those three numbers, which one is our biggest? What do you think it is? 4. Let's look at that. So it's oh, only 8.4. 8.4. Yep, we need to look at the number before the decimal. So 8.4. Okay. Now find your smallest number. 
What's our smallest number? This one. There we go, negative 6.4. So we should have negative 6.4 all the way on the left of our desk and our 8.4 all the way on the right of our desk. Do we have a middle marker? Zero. Yep, good job, Peyton. So zero goes in the middle. So try to find and order them from least to greatest. They like a little money. Let's look at this one. Is four bigger or smaller than three? Well, it's the opposite. So it's we got opposite. zero. Ignore the number that's after the decimal. Okay, we go zero, one, four, three, six. Does that make sense? Two, you have to move them. There you go. There you go. Good job. Thank you. I was wondering from least, from least to greatest, though. So can, this is bigger. This is bigger than that, right? Yeah. This is our most negative number. And this, if we drew a number line, it would be negative. 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 Positive. 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 That's what I look at a number line. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like how my um. I told you about what I think is how positive and negative numbers Yeah, are. your theory does work. Okay, so that one should be negative 6.4, negative 4, negative 3.2, negative 1.7, 0, 2.6, 4, and 8.4. And it looks like we all got that. Okay, put the blue cards away. Your next card set is going to be your white cards. Once you have your white ones, go ahead and lay those all out. John, what's different about these ones? They are fractions. They're fractions. So our pink ones were positive and negative. Our blue ones were decimals. And our white ones are fractions. So you want to get our white ones out? Yep. Lay your white ones out on your desk. Okay, find your biggest number and hold it up. The biggest number. There you go. It's six. Good job. Okay, now look at that. That goes all the way on your right of your desk. All the way on the right. Now find the smallest number. This one's tricky because you have fractions, so make sure you're thinking hard. This is something that's worse. Nope. This is. That's awesome. Okay, now let me oh, put up the uh, middle number. There we go. So our smallest is negative 4. So that's going to go all the way on the left side. Do we have a middle marker? 0. See, I made it easy for you. Put that 0 in the middle. We always we have only 0. Yep, there's a 0 in all of them to help you guys. Okay, so now order them from least to greatest. If you're having troubles with those fractions, you can draw a number line too. We can draw one on the board. Done. These are the two. I think they're going to be tricky. Yep. Yeah. They all get to play down. Did we do it right? Okay, so. There you go, good catch. Okay, so we all have the same thing. We have negative four, negative two, negative one half, negative one fourth, <laughs> zero, three fourths, five eighths, and six. Do we all think that's right? What do we think might be our problem? Which two might need to be switched? Ooh. Which ones do you think might need to be switched? These two. Uh, they're supposed to be like this. Our two negative fractions. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be like that. So let's look at both of our fractions. All right, let's do the positive ones. We have 5 eighths and we have 3 fourths. Can I do this? Figure this out? Am I doing this right? Nope. <laughs> nope. Right? 
for to not even find it. There you go. You have that number? Then, what's the other one they have that I can put up there for you? Five eighths. So now I have to cut this into eighths, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, I'm doing all this. So six, seven, and eight. And how many eights? Five. So this would be one, eight, two, eight, three, eight, four, eight, five, eight. So which one would be bigger? Would three fourths be bigger down here? Or would five eighths be bigger? Yes. Five eighths. Five eighths is bigger? Nicole. Yes. Are you available to come see Mr. Sherman? I'm sure. Thank you. Remember, bigger's this way. So here's our zero. And here's Great our all our positive Yeah. There we go. So those are the two we need to switch. Mm -hmm. So it should be. Two we need to switch. Oh, yeah, Mr. S. These two. Right there, because our five eighths is smaller than our three fourths. Oh yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. So our order should be negative four, negative two, negative one half, negative one fourth, zero, five eighths, three fourths, and six. All right, good. Okay, put your white cards away. And then our last most challenging one is our green flashcards. Do one say look like money? Yep. So I'm not actually look like money. They do. They kind of do look like little dollar bills. Yeah, from Monopoly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can cheat with these in Monopoly. Mm -hmm. All right, lay out your green cards on your desk. There you go. All right, hold up the biggest number. Eight. This one's tricky. What's different about these numbers? Oh, here it is. Oh, no. So our pink ones are positive and negative numbers. Okay, here. Here's my biggest number. Our blue ones are decimals. Our white ones are fractions. And what are these? What are our green cards? Um, Do you know what that's called? They have mixed numbers. Mixed or numbers. Mixed numbers. That's what they are. Yeah, tricky. And it's a hard one now. And then. Okay, let's find our greatest number, our biggest one. What do we think? Biggest one. All right, Tori's got 23 fifths, 23 fifths, and we've got four. All right, let's look at that. Do we know how to make our mixed numbers into whole numbers? How that looks? We haven't done that yet. Another way to think about it is how many times, so let's look at 23 fifths for example. How many times does 5 go into 23? 5, 4, 10, 15, 20. Four times, and then how many left over do we have? We have three left over, so it would be 4 and 3 fifths. So if you want to write on that flashcard for your 23 fifths, Right, four and three fifths. On the back? Or on the front, whatever you want to do. Four and three fifths. Let me make it look good. Four. Two. Fifth. Okay, well, question. Yep. How come people started writing fours like that and not how they used to write fours? I have no idea. Um, here's what the old four looks like. Here's the new four. Here's the old four. So, I didn't do that right. All right. Let's look at our other mixed number. So our 16 over 3. How many times does 3 go into 16? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. That's 5. And then how many left over do we have? 1. So we have 5 and 1 third. So write on your 16 thirds, then it's 5 and 1 third. 5 and 1 third. Okay, and our last one. Look at our 18 over 4. How many times does 4 go into 18? 4, 8, 12, 
16, that's four times. How many do we have left over? Four? We have four, eight, 12, 16. Our number is 18. Two. We have two. So that's four and two fourths. What can two fourths also be? One half. One half. Which good. one are we on? This one. That one's going to be negative. Four and a half. Negative four and a half. Oops, negative four and a half. Hmm. One half. One over two. Perfect. Okay, so now that we know what those mixed numbers are, which one is our biggest number? Make sure you're looking at the whole number first. What's our biggest number? Oh, I know. Hold it up. This one. What's the other side? There we go. Perfect. It's our 16 over 3, so that's going to go all the way on the right side. Now let's find our smallest number, which should be a negative. It's our smallest number. Think of it our negative. So we've got this negative, we've got this negative, and we've got this negative. There you go. Okay, so our smallest is negative 6. So negative 6 should go all the way on the left side. Do we have a middle marker? Yes. Of course we do. We always have a zero. So put that zero in the middle. You don't care how you leave them though since they can even them out. As middle as it gets. And then order it from least to greatest. Least to greatest. Oh, you want me to put the number? Let's look at these two. So we have a negative number, a negative number, a negative number, and then a positive oh, number. Okay. Do we have a positive number before zero or after zero? There you go. Wait, now there's a one, two, three, six. Now there's an odd number of these. Good job. And Good job. Your S on this is just what you can I go ahead? I can't even We need to number. least to greatest. So where should this go? On this side. Okay. So we've got our negative six. Okay. So this one is our four and three fifths. Yeah, I'm walking back. This right. is our two and one third. And this is our five and one third. So we just want to look at our whole number first. We've got a four, a two, and a five. Mm -hmm. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so we're doing least to greatest. So let's find all of our negative numbers. We've got a negative, a negative, and then we have a negative one. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so let's look at these first numbers. So this one's a whole number is a negative three. And then what's this whole number? Negative four. There you go. So our order should be negative six, negative 18 over four, negative three and three fifths, zero, two and one third, four, 23 fifths, and 16 thirds. I don't like this number. All right. So now we know how to order our decimals, our integers, our other rational numbers. We have mixed fractions, normal fractions, we got it all covered. So with all your flashcards, you can put them all back in piles and then just stick them in your envelopes and you guys can use them again later. Can we keep these? Yep, you can keep them. Can we take them out of this? Keep them in your desk. Oh, I'll play with them.